Hi, welcome to Equazer. In this video, I'm going to sh show you how you can use the memory of Canon F789 SGA calculator. This calculator has uh, the following memories with labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, X, and Y. And also it has one additional memory which every calculator has and that's called M. So the M is different because you can add to it and uh, these other memories are independent. As soon as you put a new value, the previous value will be deleted. So let's turn it on. Now, uh, let's say you want to do this calculation and and uh, you, so after this calculation, you want to put the result into memory A. So we press two, plant is open, 5.79 plus 18, plant is closed. Now, all these memories we use with store. So press shift STO. Now you see STO on the screen. So now any of these buttons, if you press it, the value goes into that memory. So I'm pressing A. You see the arrow shows that the value went to the A. And this is the result of the calculation. If you want to see it here, you see it here. So I press clear all. If you want to get A back, just press recall. A and the value will be displayed. So don't worry, the value is already in memory. Now let's do this calculation, square root of 8.6 into memory A. We want to do it and put it in A, square root of 8.6 and then shift store. Now I'm pressing B, so this goes into B, clear all. Now so to, to recall A, we just press A so the A is displayed. If you want to do another calculation with A, just press left arrow here and let's say press 3. So the value will be there. So you can either recall, let's say, B here, or if you want to do some other uh, calculation, this way you can do that. So now let's do the A squared, this A squared plus B over 3 um, B. Uh, I'm pressing recall A and then squared and then plus recall B with the arrow come to the denominator and put 3 and then recall B. So press equal sign and that's the result of the calculation using the memory of A and B. Now let's do this calculation. Let's say you want to do this cal calculation. After that you want to, uh, to recall M, recall M. So 80 is already in memory. To clear it just put 0. So press 0 and then shift store M. Now 0 is into M and M disappeared. This way you can clear the memory. Add 7 to that and after that you want to add B to the to the same thing. So let's say 6 pi over 3 shift pi over 3. So this is the value and you want to put it, uh, you want to store it in a memory with addition. Make sure if you are using this memory there should not be any M so pay attention we don't have when this is empty uh, when there is no M the memory is empty so I'm pressing this now this value went into M M plus and the M is here now clear all if you want to recall it just press recall M as usual you see the value is 2 pi now let's add 7 to the memory so press just M or let's say other calculation whatever you have on the screen just press this the value will go to memory will be added to the memory now let's add B to the memory so recall B and then add so all the values have been added to, to recall it just see it this way thank you for watching please thumb up the video and also if you're interested please subscribe so you can get update for upcoming videos